Hey, this is Steve with Blades We Love. Um, this is a review for the Matriarch 2 with the waved opener, or the Emerson opener, uh, C12 SBK2W. That's the uh, Spider Coast product code. Um, let's take a look at this. So what we have here is the uh, Emerson uh, opener, Matriarch 2. Uh, basically what you have is these are like the uh, Endura 4 handles which are fiberglass reinforced nylon uh, with a bi-directional gripping, which um, actually works pretty good. Um, it has a four-way clip attachment, so tip up, tip down, right hand or left hand um, carry. You can choose. Um, it has a torque screw construction, so you can, not that I'd recommend this, but you could take this knife apart and see how it works. Um, also, it, uh, it has VG10 blade steel, which is actually a, a really nice kind of middle of the line uh, blade steel that, you know, in my opinion, it has a really, it has a really cool look to it. It's got a nice luster, um, a nice sheen. A lot of other steels, you don't, you don't quite see that. I don't know if that's like the chromium in it or something, but um, it uh, holds a really, really nice edge and isn't really that super hard to sharpen so it's a it's a great choice for uh, a blade steel for a pocket knife i guess that's why spyderco uses it so much um so you have um let's talk about the emerson opener now this little hook right here when you're carrying this knife in your pocket when you go to pull it out that catches on the edge of your pocket and pulls the knife open it takes a little practice to get it down but basically what this allows you to do is to pull this knife out of your pocket and have it open right off the bat. So technically um, it's faster than a switchblade um, and it's fully legal. So yeah, it's called the Waved or uh, Emerson Opener and it works, and it works really good. Um, next, let's talk about the serrations. Uh, this is a fully serrated knife. I don't know if you can see that that well, but the beautiful thing about a serrated knife is it's a uh, it's only ground on one side not on the other and so basically you have a steeper bevel and what that basically means is you have a sharper knife um, so when you go to cut stuff with this um, this is very sharp also um, when you look at this knife you can see this has a s curve to it so it, you can cut material with it because the, the knife still has some belly to it, but it also has this hook for drawing material into it. Um, the knife is 3.57 inches long, the blade actually. The overall knife is 8.55 inches long, and the weight on this is 3.5 ounces. So you get a, a pretty strong knife. I don't know if you can see the inside of this, but it has fully skeletonized stainless steel liners. Um, and it really has good ergonomics. It fits, it fits well in the hand. You can see the shape of this, how it fits with the fingers. Your thumb fits nice on the thumb ramp like that. Um, this one does not feature jimping on the thumb ramp there, but based on the uses for this knife, this is not a, a thrusting knife. This is a, a kind of a, a cutting knife, a slashing knife. So, you know, I don't think having jimping adds much to how you would basically use this knife. Overall uses. Uh, this knife would be great for cutting cord, uh, netting if you were worked, you know, somewhere we needed to cut netting. Um, it'd probably be great to open boxes, uh, some basic everyday tasks, but more than anything this knife is designed for self-defense. Hence the Emerson waved opener, so you can get it out of your pocket quickly and have the knife open and ready for use. Um, it has this S curved shape to draw material into the blade when you're slash cutting. This knife was is based on the Spyderco Civilian, which was designed for uh, I'm not sure what the federal agency, maybe like the DEA, for undercover agents who couldn't carry a firearm to have a tool for self-defense. So this is this is made. Uh, to carry if you feel like you might be in a situation where you need to defend yourself. Uh, it's, I'd say it's probably very well designed. 
I, you know, some people might think it's strange looking, but I think it's got a, it's got a really cool aesthetic to it. Um, it's a good size knife, fits the hand well. It's something that I would trust if I was in a sticky situation. Not that I ever hope to be in a situation like that, but um, I'd say that's the primary purpose for this knife. It's a self-defense tool. My uh, my overall thoughts on this knife, I just number one, I'm, I really love Spyderco, so I there's nothing quite like the the round hole opener. I mean, these knives, if you get used to flipping them, they flick open with authority. Um, they feel tight in the hand. A really good purchase. Um, this is a knife that to me would inspire confidence. And I mean, there's let me see. Uh, it's too not enough space here, but you could spidey open it. But yeah, this is just an overall great great knife for the money. You're getting a ton of design, um, years of design experience that go into this knife. Um, it's really a highly ref refined design with a great pocket clip, great grip. Um, VG10 steel is one of my favorite steels. It sharpens up relatively easily um, and holds a really sharp hair shaving edge. Um, thing about serrations is they're a little harder to sharpen, but Spyderco offers a, sh a sharpening service. Basically any knife you have that's a Spyderco, you can mail it to them with five bucks and they'll send it back to you sharpened. So that wouldn't be my biggest concern. Overall, I'd say it's really kind of a strange looking knife, but uh, I like it.